Alright, so today we're talking about Amnesia the Bunker. This game is a great mix between modern hide and seek type horror and classic survival horror. Uh, I don't really find it that scary, but I usually don't find much horror games too scary. But this game is pretty good at building tension though. It's not trying to make you ask, is the monster going to show up here? It's gonna, it wants you to ask, am I prepared for when the monster will show up? Really quickly, before we get into the video, my game on Steam is Silicon Shadow, which is my new short length game on Steam, which is about an AI taking over a space station with a retrofuturistic noir atmosphere. Thank you to anyone who checks that out. Uh, back to the game. This game's sort of like if an R2 remake, Mr. X was the only monster, but he's more dangerous and all the resources go to fighting him off. I like how it makes you think of it more tactically. The resources in this game are really good. Uh, they're all multi-purpose. It's like, do you want to spend the cloth on making bandages or put it toward a Molotov cocktail? Uh, bullets are fairly rare. And are loaded one at a time into your revolver. So you bet so you better make sure your gun's loaded before fighting. Resources are not only for fighting out the monster though. For example, grenades aren't just for making the monster go away. They can also be used to open wooden doors. There are two sort of off things though about fighting the monster. Uh, one is that there are these explosive barrels you can move around and you're supposed to shoot them to hurt the monster, but if the monster runs into them, they just explode, But so it's always more effective to lead them in the middle of the hallway rather than shoot them, which is weird. The second thing is once you've hurt the monster enough to make him go away, it takes a moment for him to realize that. He's like, oh yeah, I'm hurt, I'm supposed to run. There's also these big, in terms of monsters, there's also these big evil rats. Uh, which are annoying, but I like how menacing they are. This may seem cool out of context, but it is pretty fun to pour the gasoline on them and uh, pour a flare at them and set them on fire. Also, getting damaged can cause you to leave a blood trail, which leads enemies, including the rats, to you. The rats can be real mean. Rats trying to eat an injured soldier while they're still alive sound, does sound like some sort of messed up World War II story. There's also good lighting mechanics in this game. Uh, you got like this wind up flashlight thing, but the noise it makes it tr slowly attracts a monster. So that's a good uh, balance thing. Uh, there's also a generator in the safe room, which can light the whole bunker, but only for a limited time. And, and so I usually uh, only turned it on when it was required for a puzzle. Uh, the puzzles are fairly good, as usual for Amnesia, by the way. In general, there's some good items unlocking items gameplay, like in Resident Evil. Uh, there's even sort of like the RPD lockers in this game, where you find codes to unlock lockers with resources. Uh, for much as I like the rest of this game, the story is pretty mediocre. It's a fairly standardized Amnesia story. The World War I bunker does make for a pretty good setting though. It provides a lot of good aesthetics. There's also a bit of Roman ruins which are good. As always with Amnesia, there's good use of darkness, keeping things sufficiently spooky, but also allowing you to see enough to get around. Also the monster design's fairly good. There are a couple of small technical problems. The main thing being, when you enter an area, the game will sort of stop for a second to reload. I also fell out of the world once. I also have to admit, in my game, the Silicon Shadow, I do have that same reloading issue. Um, but I'm a, but I'm just one guy and not a sufficiently funded studio. Also, this game is relatively short at about five to seven hours for $25. But I would much rather have a sh shorter game for us left than a longer game.
Overall, this game is good and a unique blend of survival horror and the Amnesia series. I'm giving it a 9.01. Thank you to anyone who likes, comments, or subscribes. That's it.